junior what? This is my son, Bill White. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, but don't ever play with guns. Johnson City, Tennessee. Well, we got it out of a barn on Stony Creek. Worked about four years on it. Got uh, everything to running. Got it painted. Jawan Peters up at Peters Hollow painted it. My son helped me work on it. My grandson helped me work on it. We did most of it at home. And we've got it running pretty good now. Well, we had to start with, we had to get it running, put a gas tank on it. Cause we had a five gallon can sitting in the back for the gas tank. We put a gas tank lines, carburetor, everything on it. Stripped it down to bare metal. Had about four coats of paint on it. You got some uh, metal etching primer on it. And then we went to fixing and putting the trim on it and got new windows for it, new glass. And uh, we more or less painted the interior. And we had to contract the uh, outside paint. It was just too big an area for us to cover. It's got, it's got a 69 model, 354 volt main, you know, the blocks stock, and it's got the pump heads with two inch intake valve. Really good running motor. Well, we've got a four speed M21 Muncie, and we took a 2000 Camaro rear end. It's got a Richmond 14 gear in it, and uh, we had to cut the rear end to get it to fit under it because a Camaro is wider than a 57 Chevrolet. <laughs> so we finally got it in and it's doing pretty good. We, we put disc brakes all the way around on it, power steering, it, it drives good. Well, if you live back in the late 50s, early 60s, you just about had to be in it. That's That was the going thing back then. You went out on Saturday night and done what you could do. When I grew up riding in his 69 El Camino SS, and that kind of led me into the, the field. What kind of car did you drive? I had a 70 Chevelle then. You know, it, it looked like an SS, but it's just a clone. Back then, it was the Dutch made and the blue circle. That was, that was about the most going places in town then, both Johnson City and Elizabethan. I grew up in a lot later era than he did. And, and you know, you said about hanging out. They used to be, down where Pete's Inn is, used to be a place called Funland. It was an arcade game. So that was where all the hot rodders went during my high school era and, and so forth. And then this building, Old Highway, Bristol, the new one, the four lane, and it only went out to about Kingsburg School. And we had a, a strip out there where we'd go and race. Yeah, I had some pretty bad experiences on Butler Bridge. <laughs> We've, uh, we went across there a few times one night, but the law also knew about it and they kind of staked it out a little bit. So we had to find new spots about every Saturday night. During, when I was growing up, hot rodding was a big thing. Everybody, everybody wanted to be in it. <laughs> and you got to see your friends, you got to hang out, you meet really good people. You meet people that help you and not ask a dime out of you. You know, they, they do a lot for you. You'd break, you'd break something, somebody'd be there to help you fix it. And you'd do the same for them. It's just uh, something that's become lost in the newer generations that I'd like to see come back. We uh, meet on Saturday night. People thought they had a hot car and we'd go out and find a strip somewhere and see what they'd do. Sometimes we had to push them home, but one, one Saturday night we 
got to running like he said he's on Butler Bridge and I had a 57 Chevrolet then and that was in 63 and we uh, got across there and I missed third gear in mine and it bent the valves, bent push rods, had to have it towed home. My dad got out the next morning, helped me get it started and it caught on fire and he finally figured out what had been going on. It wasn't good. <laughs> he, we got it fixed. We got back in the game again. I was in town every Friday and Saturday night religiously cruising, seeing if we can I can get a raise, have fun. It's a big friendship. Rather than top ten. Just down here mostly. That's about the only place we've got to go. Maybe could go to street fights over at Bristol on the weekends, but it's just now mostly cruise ends. Maybe up in Newland or over at Bristol or Kingsport or here in Elizabeth. I like to drive it every, every chance I get. Mostly up around the lake, going toward Mountain City, right up around the lake, around the lake shore, up in that part. And then go on through Mountain City and go back around to Bristol. That's a nice drive around through there. Well, we went to the <clears throat> racers reunion. They held it at Freedom Hall and sometimes in Jonesburg. And there was old racers there like Don Tarr, Rex White, and uh, a few more of the old people were there and they sat around and told their stories. And you could remember when Bristol wasn't nothing but a 2,000 seat stadium. I remember the first race they held there, we went to it, and there was hardly anybody there at all, but just concrete seats, bleachers. They got out there, if they didn't win, they didn't take no money home. They wasn't getting a big paycheck like drivers are today. They had to win what they took from the purse, what they took home, what they eat on, what they fixed their car with the whole week. Even when I was young and started going, I can remember the old Monte Carlo, the, the Mercury, the Pontiacs, and it was pretty much what was on the street. Uh, and one thing I always remembered was like at Bristol, Dave Marcus would come in. He'd come in with the lowest equipment. He'd be the one turning the wrenches. He'd, he'd do everything. You don't see none of that on him. They'll learn hard. They'll learn hard. Um, the working man's attitude, and lead, follower, get out of the way. You know, that back then NASCAR, you could use a bumper. Now, now the bumper's just there for look. know friends that we had help us, Larry Hamilton, Dewan Sheffield, Buchanan's upholstery, and those people and, and stuff and uh, and just ordinary friends along the way that, that helped us with it. You know, we got a lot of support and stuff and and so forth. And the racers reunions the first show we ever took it to, they was really great to him. Really really treated him like family and we'd really like to thank them, you know. And uh, Steve Treadway was, was the biggest one behind that. And we'd like to thank him for that. And I'd like to thank the Carter County Car Club here. We've got about 40 members, and everything we do is for the kids. If we sell anything, if we make, we don't keep a penny of the money, it all goes to the East Tennessee Christian Home and other kids' sponsors. But we do try to help the kids as much as we possibly can. This cruise in on Saturday night's free. All that we asked is no alcohol and people to act civil. That's the best thing we got going here because it's a family event. And we'd like to thank the city of Elizabethan for letting us do it. Our car show. The main car show will be here in downtown Elizabethan. It won't be at Bola this year. It's going to be right here in downtown Elizabethan, and it'll be July the 13th.
from 9 to 5 and then from 5 to 9 cruise time.